Check one. Check one. Y'all know how I do. Check one, two. Check one, two. Check one, two. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel better this evening. I was tired last night. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. How y'all doing this evening? I hope we got some good people in the building this evening. Right, let me make sure we got what's going on here. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right, family. How y'all doing this evening? Oh, yeah, we about to get started. We about to get started for real. I didn't got myself. I got myself comfortable up in here. Peace and love, family. I hope y'all share this stream. I've been sitting around uh, after I finished my day's work throwing throwing this together. Uh, hopefully, you will appreciate it. But this is some heavy stuff going on here. This is some real heavy stuff going on here. When we really consider, and, and I think Morris Road TV is the best, um, I think Morris Road TV is the best platform to put it together to tell this story uh, for those who can't tell their own story. Man, this is some crazy stuff. What's up, Emmanuel Dark? This is some crazy stuff here. I'm trying to tell you. When I put this stuff together and I actually look at it, I'm like, yo. Yo, not for real, but yeah, for real. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, but anyway, uh, without no further ado, I guess we got to go ahead and get busy. You know what I mean? What's up, Ephraim Colon? Uh, man, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay close to this story because I, I got a feeling that this, this is going to pop. You know what I mean, I got a feeling that it's going to pop. And I want to be here when it pops. Just because that I am a hip-hop fan and I've watched this for a minute. This is Cosmo Flex. <laughs> I watched this, you know what I mean, growing up, man. And this is, this is a serious story. This is a serious story. And, and, and it, it, it fascinates me. It fascinates me that all of these years... Um, all of this stuff has been happening. All of this stuff has been happening. And um, I don't know how. I guess we got to get busy. You know? Come on, man. Anyway, family. I definitely appreciate you. I definitely appreciate you. Let's get busy. I be that more you gon' remember. Yeah. I'ma be that more you gon' remember. Uh -huh. I be that more you gon' remember. To Harker Bay front line till the law call my number. I be that more you gon' remember. I'ma be that more you gon' remember. That's right. I be that more you gon' remember. To Harker Bay front line till the law call my if number. If you a friend of the more then you a friend of mine. I was told to watch my enemies now hold my line. Those who speak against the prophet they speak. Me. And I'm speaking about the prophet over Drew Ali Who was the first to remind you and bind you back To Morocco, the mountains, Mississippi and Quebec Told you you wasn't black, prove it a straight fact You tripping off trust, you need to be tripping off that Now here we go again, acting like you a slave The same people talk European how to fade And look at that women buying European hair No love for self, but do the men really care? Have now, cause they got a love for Europe Chasing pills, we even serve. Yeah, they love no yachty. Tucci, Gucci, Kodak, Amigo, Ross, Lucy. But when the love for the woman look like your mother, I guess they say it's all black when it's under the cover. Now, Cypher, I'll be that more you gon' remember. I'ma be that more you gon' remember. That's right. I'll be that more you gon' remember. To Harker Bay front line till the law call my number. I'll be that more you gon' remember. I'ma be that boy you gon' remember, that's right I'll be that boy you gon' remember To Harker Bay front line till the law call my number All you super scholars holler This 
era for the workers You ain't building on the ground, then you worse than a twerker You look and sound good, but that's only on the surface Probably working for them people Now tell me what's your purpose Ain't worried about your homie, but know that I know Every mo that rock a fans, he ain't my bro Yeah, you know I ain't slow, I seen it all before How they try to kill the profit, it was all for dope And some got it right now, don't say that I'm not down I'm coming for my fast mistakes, I want my town my shirt, my stores, my school, my nation Sick and tired of the procrastination and debate Y'all keep hate when love is the savior You don't love yourself so you can't love your neighbor That's why you killing, fighting, Murray out of your race If you ain't for Moorish world, then get out of my face Cause Chinese love China, Italians love Italy If you used to love the Moorish world, come on and build it with me Let's go I be that more you gon' remember I'ma be that more you gon' remember, that's right I be that more you gon' remember To hawk a bay front line Till the law call my number I be that more you gon' remember I'ma be that more you gon' remember Oh yeah I be that more you gon' remember To hawk a bay front line Till the law call my number I be that more you gon' remember Be more I be that more you gon' remember That time I be that more you gon' remember To hawk a bay front line Till the law call my number I be that more you gon' remember LA I be that more you gon' remember New York I be that more you gon' remember To Hawke Bay front line Till the law call my number But 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 wait it gets worse Y'all say y'all say y'all say bring something else in Until the people come in Alright let me see what I got Let me see what else I got They say bring something else Until the people come in I'm exposing your robbing. See, I used to be a robber. I was robbing the thugs and the agents in the hood selling nasty grub. I was only 17 and I didn't know better. Put the things in their face and said, Give me the cheddar. But it really amazed me the age of 40 that people would use the things that would annoy me to rob our people like Bibles and Quran. Take your money and then they gone. Shoot, sell and plagiarize books and dreams of unity. Blame the European, but look what you do to me. Got me thinking we can overcome, but when you cut your camera, you really one of them, you gon' have to watch it back for the rest of your life I know good and well you can't sleep at night You done robbed everybody from the oh. of birds With your oaks, your crystals, hey. your books, your herbs You convinced everybody that it's white supremacy The fact of the matter is you're the real enemy You have been lying to the people back in your pockets You ain't nothing but internet profit you gon' have to watch it back for the rest of your life I know good and well you can't sleep at night You done robbed everybody from the hood to bird With your own, your crystal, your books and herbs Now they callin' me out cause I revealed the scam They will shake your hand and still grip your fan And say hope to that peace, black power, shalom I still am a little, pray the Lord this long At the same time they plotting to get in your block And they will white label sunglasses, yeah. cups and watches Make a profit for the enemy they talk about I can't understand why you ain't been walking now you ain't noticed that you met them. You yeah. slipping your life on Twitter like we the about to get heated up in here. Right. Bank account got light and you haven't seen the light. You burn all the sage and ain't change your plight. Incense burning, crystals turning. Think to yourself what, what you, you really learning, learning, what you really saw. You yeah, gave them your own on the museum club and internet mall. Selling deodorant and hurry up and buy. He don't really care if you're broke and you die. You just act like like, like you don't care either. either. This is pure evil. Gonna have to watch it back for hey. the rest of your life. I know good and well you can't right. sleep at night. The you know, people's grand sheep is in the building. Your books, your herbs, your yeah. books, your herbs, your books, your everybody that is white supremacy. The fact of the matter is you're the real enemy. You've been lying to the people fat in your pocket. You ain't nothing but an internet prophet. 
you're gonna have to watch it back for the rest of your life. I know good and well you can't sleep at night. You the rob that we gonna do we're gonna do one more. Let's do one more. With your uncle, your crystals, your books and herbs. You're gonna have to watch it back for everybody the rest of your share this. We're gonna play one more, give you time to share. At night. Come on. You done robbed everybody from the hood to the burbs with your uncle, your crystals, your books, your herbs. You convinced everybody that is white supremacy. The fact of the matter is you're, you're the real enemy. enemy. You've been lying to the people fat in your pocket. You ain't nothing but the enemy. Check, check, check. Y'all got check, check, check. Check, check. Is that right? Y'all. This is the real deal. Let's go. Yes, sir. This is the real deal. Let's go. Talk about I said the feds is watching and forming plotting to get me Cause I'm exposing these frauds They say I'm trolling like 50 They thought they catch me in Cali Smack me up with some charges If I was 25 I probably would've stopped them up regardless On the run from the feds Because that boy is a fed If this was back in the day I put a price on his head You wanna swing on the guard You know the swindling fraud With the feds on the block The roof and in the car Nah, I'm gonna slaughter I live to fight tomorrow I refuse to let you leave me to slaughter You little punk I got children to raise I got people to uplift your intentions is to enslave my people in Oh, we about to get started. Time snitch on anybody suspicious. If you not used to Morris Raw TV, gave you a new identity, location, and fame. But we know you are. You can hide from more markets. It's coming to light. What you done did in the darkness? It's been an agent for years. Yeah, back in '91, you infiltrated the rap game. That's Cosmo Flex. Your job is done. The feds is watching and forming plotting to get me Cause I'm exposing these frauds, they say I'm trolling like 50 I said the feds is watching and forming plotting to get me Cause I'm exposing these frauds, they say I'm trolling like 50 The feds is watching and forming plotting to get me Cause I'm exposing these frauds, they say I'm trolling like 50 I said the feds is watching and forming plotting to get me Cause I'm exposing these frauds, they say I'm trolling like 50 I said the feds is watching and Police Zulu Shabazz is watching. Naeem Brown is watching. I got the heart of Muhammad and the wisdom of Ali. I never say why me. Instead, I say why you didn't heed the warning. You know how I do. Destroy them devils. Cut the devils of punk. I'm the manifest of God. Start crescent and unk. And you a Twitter revolutionary way to get hacked. I say it. I got smacked. Sitting in front of your compact. I'm boots on the ground. Ten toes down. Let's, uh, let's get busy, man. Watch it for me. Bye. I said they plotting to get me. I said they plotting to get me. Come out. <laughs> Family, welcome to a double edition of Morris World TV. I am your host, Brother Tahaka Bay, and I told you we're going to bring the music back. I think I'm in a safe, I'm in a safe place right now where I can control all of my production and still have a good time. You know, I had to, I had to, I had to be in the studio because uh, I need to get the Avions of the studio you know what i'm talking about i had to get the ambiance of the studio you know what i mean um <laughs> pop pop soapbox hey yesterday's price is not today's price pop pop soapbox say hey just curious which software do you use to record your shows i like the way your video look and sound brother let me tell you i am going i'm going to do a class on this brother i use a mixture of stuff i use a mixture of stuff it's not one thing but i can't give you the secret sauce the game is so not told <laughs> listen i need to get some lawyer money i'm trying to tell you i can't grip nobody so i would just ask you to stick around by the end of this week, I'm going to be putting up my classes. Not going to be much. I'm going to show you everything that I do. Now, listen, I will tell you the truth. I will tell you the truth that sometimes, um, sometimes I literally, um, I use my, my, I use, I use my studio also for my office. So sometimes I, I, I mess my settings up. Do you know what I mean? I mess my sound up. I mess my settings up. But what I did was I got me another computer so I can, I'm actually got another computer, older computer. I got another computer where I use that computer for my other business and I use 
strictly this for streaming. And so for now and on, I won't be able to uh, mess up my mess up my um, my sounds and my graphics and all of that. But I'm going to share this with the Morse World TV citizens. Um, I perfected this to the best I could, and I like it to be organic too. So so uh, pop pop soapbox, brother, email me. I don't mind sharing it with you. Email me at Morse World TV updates and I will give you a checklist for free. I'm not going to say it over the air. Morse NWTV updates and I share it with you. But it's a host of things that I use to get to this point. You know what I mean? It's just not one thing. It's just not one thing. It's 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 equipment, it's settings, and, and it's trial and error. And anybody that's been walking with me on this journey with um uh uh Exposing these frauds, they can tell you. Just go look at the videos. It's been trial and error. But I think I'm to the point now where I've I perfected uh, what I like to do uh, with uh, my broadcast. But I uh, thank you. Uh, that's that's definitely a compliment, and I don't mind sharing it with you. Email me at MWTV updates, and I will share with you uh, the things that I do. Even even my thumbnails. You know what I mean? I do my own thumbnails. Uh, I've learned how to get them a little bit crisp. You know what I mean? I learned how to get them a little bit crisp. Uh, I, I learned some tricks about thumbnails. I, I, you know what I mean? So if I can help somebody, as long as you are, are doing something to uh, uh, inform people as to what's going on, as long as you're doing something positive and not the twerking and the, and the nonsense, man, I, I got you. I got you. Whatever I got is yours. It is what it is. Uh, but with that being said, I don't want to give it to the, 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 the people that be watching just coming to uh, 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 steal uh, uh, and see what they can use for themselves and then they attack me with my own with my own style you know what I'm not my <laughs> they they come and attack me they they think be Chris Tubba. yeah he a registered sex offender right there they be Christmas ever t- talking about me using my own style no 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 Anyway, family, welcome to another edition of Morse World TV, family. One of the first things we got to get into is, family, have you ever wondered that if if Diddy, if Diddy was a regular person like anybody else, you know what I mean, a regular promoter in your city, a regular, uh, you know, because he started off as a back, back, uh, back back dancer backup dancer and then as a promoter any promoter in your city that would have done some of the things that we would come to find out that diddy did and now that he's a mogul i mean even these things would it be the same situation that we see today family one of the things one of the things for sure is that um i remember this right here family let's get this started this right here. Now I said in, in my thing, I said that um that that he has over 10, 10 unlived people connected to him. That's what I said. Now that doesn't mean that he's guilty of anything. It means that by association, he has 10 over 10 people that you can literally connect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Crip. Um, support the content, fam. Let go. Um, he has over 10 people. Can you imagine if people had 10 people unlived around them? Man, everybody would be dug up out of the ground and a new autopsy would be taken. Don't you think so? Every everyone by, by number six, by number by the time they get to number six, they've been to dug some bodies up and do and and did some uh, uh uh did some new testing. Do you notice that there is no talk about this? now? I don't know if it's going to go that way. I mean, but when I'm studying this and researching this, I'm saying, man, this is some heavy stuff right here. How in the world do this guy? able to slip past these situations like this. One of the situations that he, he's been able to slip past is, is the shine situation. Um, uh, when him and J-Lo, 
The story is, is that they went into this club and J-Lo packed the gun. So she, they didn't find it on Puff. And so J-Lo, you know, she kept the secret. You know what I mean? She rolled out. That's why after that joint was over, she got low. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, man, your dog said, just bad luck. <laughs> well, if it's just bad luck, well, Puffy's doing dirt ball bad. But anyway, so anyway, uh, Sean takes the charge for Puffy allegedly and i think it's gonna come out soon because there's other people that was there and i'm gonna cover that story sometime in the future there's a there's a, there's one of the people that was shot and other people was in the club say they seen diddy pull the burner and now there is possibly there's, there's, there's possibly going to be a reopening of that case. There's talk that is going to, there's a possibility that they might reopen it because witnesses have been interviewed. See what I'm saying? Um, a DQ. The reason Diddy is able to slip past all of this is because I think he was an informant. Let me tell you something, DQ. Don't go nowhere. That is... Definitely something to, un to, to, to underscore. You follow me? That is definitely something to underscore because uh, we have been uh, told at, that that is emphatically true. That that's who he is. You know what I mean? That there's no doubt about it that that's who he is. According to Gene Deal, um, his former bodyguard, Gene Deal says that he was um, a confidential informant and because of that, he's been able to get away with a lot of things. You know what I mean? And so, A, according to Gene Deal, here you go. They feel like Puff knew what Meech was doing. Then with the introduction to Jacob and different people, and a lot of people going to jail for money laundering and stuff like that. Puff being, um, and this is documented. Puff being a CI for an FBI agent. I said this years ago that Kim and Kirk Burroughs took some paperwork. They were taking some papers up to the to the uh, uh, FBI stuff like when they was here in New York. They was taking paperwork up there and stuff like that. Don't know what it was, but later on found out that he was a CI. So yeah, according to Gene Deal, he was a confidential informant until recent. Until recent. And what I mean by recent is they say that his, his handler... Uh, recently passed away. You feel what I'm saying? They said that his handler recently passed away. And this is why we see other suspected informants uh, 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 close to him um, like it ain't nothing. Do you know what I mean? Because they, 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 I mean, it is what it is. And then you got to understand the history of Diddy. You know what I mean? His father uh, was allegedly killed because everybody that he committed the, the, the crimes of of, of hustling um, with all of them went to jail and he didn't, and so um, they try to put it down as a bad as a, as a deal gone wrong. But in fact, the the word is is that he snitched on his whole crew. And hey, but I'm gonna tell you when I th now again, it seems to me that most people coming out of Howard University especially men, it seems to me that they have some suspect behavior as it work, as it relates to being informants. We've, I'm telling you, whether it's Malik Zulu Shabazz or whether it's a uh, puffy, it seems to me that Howard University that is close to DC are grooming young men to enter into entertainment, politics, or even social movements, um, and probably now on the internet. They're probably on the internet now because everything is digital. But they were in the 90s, seems like they was planting them 
uh, into these movements and returning information back. And this is why you see a Malik Zulu Shabazz for over 30 years have no true accomplishment as an attorney. But he, he is an attorney. He's an official attorney. But if you look into his background of wins and losses, you don't see either. It's just nothing. He's running around with a bullhorn talking about black power, black power. You know what I'm saying? And that's all he's doing. Uh, uh, and talking about the white man, the white man, the white man. So that's kind of suspect after a few years. But our people don't pay attention to these little subtle things, obviously. But anyway, back to my point. Uh, Diddy is quite possibly a, um, uh, um, right now, I think it's in the air right now because uh, he might have went rogue, rogue or something. But there was also a whisper that he had something to do with Big Meech. That he, say, I mean, that's alleged. I don't know. And it's amazing how uh, Diddy and Fifty Cent uh, can't see eye to eye. Haven't seen eye to eye in quite some time. Um, and Fifty Cent is rallying. Uh, uh, I guess you would say campaigning to get Big Meech out. And he's campaigning to destroy Puffy, you know? And I guess, you know what I mean? He can't destroy somebody if you don't have the goods. Puffy keep on giving up the goods. He the goods. I mean, uh, uh, no, Diddy. Uh, he got. He just keep giving up information. I mean, he stay in, he stay in the mix. He stay in the mix. But to see how 50 goes so hard for Big Meech, you know what I'm saying? And even even with the um with the series that he put out and Puffy being his opposition. I don't know. I think we I think I think it's more to be told. I think it's more to be told. Uh when Big Meech get out, I think there's more to be told to this story that have yet to be told. But with that being said, family, um, I said, I said that Puff is responsible for at least over 10 unlived people. And I might, I'm not responsible, pause. I say Puffy is connected, you know what I mean, to over 10 unlived people by the way of relationship, friendship, business, romantic, or something. He is connected. You feel what I'm saying? He is connected to over 10 family, even the city cop. Let me drop this in here real quick. My brother Dirk died at the Heavy D Puff Daddy Celebrity Basketball Game. From that day on, part of me died. From what I hear, it was so jam-packed and it was very, very difficult to get the door open. In this particular case, greed and and gain were major issues in the loss of those nine lives. I've seen them dragging people in and pulling them to the side. I've seen people, brothers and sisters, get together like I've never seen before. And I'm sorry for the families that suffered this because I feel it more than I can possibly express it to you. Since the day after the funeral, I was on a mission. You know, my name is Jay Swain. A mission to figure out what happened. You know. If y'all interested, you can find this documentary on, on Vimo, uh, Venmo, Vimeo. Um, exceptionally um, well put together doc documentary considering the era of time that it was put together. And why it happened. The camera looking at me, I'm looking at y'all. Because, you know, I, he was special to me. Remember that night like it was yesterday. Now, now, this is nine people right here that lost their lives. Do you know, do anybody know the verdict of after all this was done? Do anybody know? Family, this is where you know that Diddy and others may be connected, especially Diddy because Heavy D is gone. I mean, Heavy D is gone. Do y'all know? Do y'all know? It's called um, one second. the 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 documentary is called. Uh, just type in City College, City College documentary, nineteen ninety one. I find it in a minute. But 
So everybody else is gone. You know what I mean? Everybody else is gone. Now, Diddy was, he literally paid an undisclosed settlement. Now, at this point, when you're dealing with this type of tragedy and there is no criminal prosecution, that is definitely a red flag. And now, now listen, you may look at Astro World, but the guy from Astro World, where all the tragedy happened at Astro World, he wasn't the promoter. He was just the performer. You follow what I'm saying? I forget his name. I forget his name. He was he wasn't the promoter. He was the performer. When you're talking about a promoter, and this type of tragedy happened, and this type of tragedy happened, and there is no criminal. Nothing, family. That is a red flag. Now, listen. When we start talking like this, we know all the all the gangsters start talking crazy. Yeah, Travis Scott. Travis. Travis. Travis was not the promoter. He was just the he was the performer. But at this point, this was the promoter who was allowing people to continue to jam pack the place. This is totally different. And people try to put it on the same level as Astro. Now, this is totally different. This is totally different because you're dealing with the promoter. You notice that none of the performers was under the un, under the under under uh, uh, um under the spotlight or under the hot light of accused of anything during this time. But because Travis Scott is so uh, uh, so popular, so famous, they use his name and they don't use the promoter name because most likely the promoters for Dra Travis Scott also probably was with some Jews, European Jews or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Does anybody know any of the victim families curious what they have to say? Yeah, it's in this documentary right here. It's, it's, it's in this documentary right here. This is one of the family members well, yeah, who produced this documentary. Not just my brother Dirk died but eight other people. And even to this day, it's hard to even understand why it happened. And at the end of the day, right? At the end of the day, when something like that, when something as tragic as that happens and there is no criminal probe, family, that is one of the biggest red flags you can imagine. Not saying that mistakes don't happen. But when you listen to uh, uh, the guy from Music Box says that, says that this was all about greed. You know what I mean? All about greed. There it is. Emmanuel Dark. No Way Out was produced by Derek Swain's younger brother, Jason Swain. Thank you so much, Emmanuel. Thank you so much. Uh, there it is. No Way Out. There it is. Um... But that's nine people right there. Now, imagine, imagine going on through life with nine souls on your conscience. Or do you even have a conscience? Do you even have a conscience? Somebody mentioned to me the other day, yesterday, uh, I think I, I forget where I was at. But somebody mentioned to me and say that 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 Diddy had to learn this from his handlers on how to do business, how to disregard, how to be heartless and how to have freak offs and how to do ritualistic freak off. He, they didn't come up with this themselves. So I think the next research is, I think the next research is who is the one that does this type of thing and pass it on to these supposedly people brothers sisters from the hood i don't think they came up with these little freak off by themselves they didn't learn it from somewhere we know epstein whatever his name is you know he was doing it doing doing the delgon thing uh, uh under the radar for years so they had to pick it up from somewhere and we're going to do the research on that but with that being said family I got a few other things I want to share with you. Some of the some of the people that came up missing, man. Listen, let's let's run it down the line. 
And then I'm going to recap, recap, excuse me. Let's run it down the line. You know what I mean? And then I'm going to recap family. Yeah. And, and man, listen, I took some time today. Uh, hopefully y'all appreciate this and share this, you know, because I don't think we should let this go away. I don't think we should let this go away. I mean, I don't think we should let this go away because this, they, they targeted our community. Let me stop for a second. They targeted our community with smut rap. You understand what I'm saying? They targeted our community with murder rap. They targeted our community with tricking off rap, with dirty rap. With, they ain't even give it a balance. Like back in the day, although you had the black power type rap, you know what I'm saying? The knowledge, uh, 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 KRS type raps and all of the cultural type rap. And there was room for a public enemy. There was room for a, a, a Coogee rap. There was room for people like that. But after the 90s, through the mid 90s, they seemed to just wipe all of the rap that was of substance to the point now we got 15 uh, 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 sexy reds. Yeah, yeah, 15 sexy reds. I remember a rapper said one time it, it said uh, 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 we grew up saying uh, uh, um, uh, uh, trying to get some money from drugs. They grew up just abusing drugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Emmanuel Doc just put it up there. My man, we on the same way. We're, we're from dealing drugs uh, rap to <laughs> to using drugs rap. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> but but that's that's what it has come to. You know what I mean? That's what it has come to. But with that being said, um. We about to get started, family. We're going to take you down memory lane. And I want you to, if you get your calculator, we already did nine already. You know what I mean? So all we have to do in reality is uh, <laughs> is get one more that's associated with it. But anyway, let's go back to like 1990. You know what I mean? All of this in 1990, Andre Harrell, Paul and Puff. And you know uh, Puffy and, and Andre Harrell, they fell out because Puffy was doing backroom deals. Y'all know that, right? He was doing backroom deals. And they try to act like it wasn't it wasn't that serious. But when you go and do a deep dive, which I already did, uh, Puffy was doing backroom deals and wasn't cutting, the, cutting, cutting everybody in. You know what I mean? He wasn't cutting people in. You know what I mean? And so, also... It is said that Clive, allegedly Clive Davis was uh, first not. Uh, uh, mm, mm, mm. I, I only like say this, man. This is sickening. They say Clive Davis, the European, was running around uh, with um, with my main man. <sighs> Andre Harrell. They say he was running around with Andre Harrell. And from that relationship, um, Puffy got in his ear. Puffy might have been on on the on the on the sugar side. Puffy might have been on the sugar side. Because the word is that Puffy convinced Clive Davis to invest five million into Bad Boy. And Clive, this, oh man. and Clive invested the five million. Did he? gets fired from Uptown and immediately kicks off Bad Boy. Now, not only did 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 Clive invest in Bad Boy, but there's another one who invested in Sean John. Another sugary European but anyway long story short the word allegedly is that Clive 
was actually with Andre Harrell. And then Diddy stole Clive. You hear what I say? Allegedly, Diddy stole Clive. <laughs> this is sound crazy. You know what I'm saying? This stuff sound real crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Diddy was trying to come up, got in Clive ear, and allegedly in his bed, and that's how he started Bad Boy Records with the naked baby with the pamper with boots on. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, let's get it going. So, the first, one of the first deaths we all know associated with Diddy and it's, I'm not saying Diddy is responsible for these unlives, these unlived people. I'm not, I'm not saying that. But let's just say this. There is word that would, that, that, now I don't know if this is a stretch, but some people claim that Diddy and Jigga conspired to get rid of Big even before the beef because big was trying to leave bad boy records that was the word that was the word and it's amazing that all the bullets went in the car only one that was hit was big right after that Jay-Z began to really take off now is that a conspiracy theory of course it is is there any evidence to that huh nah but when we look at the play by play it's not too far-fetched. It's definitely not too far-fetched. It's not too far-fetched. Not to mention, not to mention, when you got Keefe D saying that Diddy got him involved in the death of Pac. So it's not too far-fetched. So in 1997, went from uptown Party and bull and party and went to bad boy to his life being taken. So it's not it's not too far fetched. And it looked like a East Coast, West Coast war. But Puffy, right now, he got a mansion on the West Coast. I, I listen. If I, this is just me. If I was on, if I was in the area and was rained on by a hail of bullets, there is no way in the world that I am going to live in that. I'm not living on that coast. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ain't no time can change that. I mean, all that going, going back, back to Cali, mm -mm, buddy. But he lives there comfortably. Comfortably. And in the indictment, not indictment, my bad, in the complaint, it says that, that he allegedly has crips moving the liquid cocaine that is being shipped and the pink stuff and the, I mean, they got all these weird type of drugs now. They say they got Crips coming to the house in Cali. Allegedly. In 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 uh in a Lil Rod report. Yeah. How does that work? How does that work? 
one that is supposed to be the catalyst to the greatest coastal beef in history now has the people on that coast on his team. This is just a weird, weird, uh, 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 <laughs> this is just some weird events. This is just some weird events, fam, that we don't pay attention to. You know what I mean? We don't pay attention to. We just don't pay attention to. In 2003, not saying Diddy had anything to do with it because I heard they was really close, but his bodyguard, Big Wolf, Anthony Jones, he faced the charges that because they was and they was at a club and somebody somebody got unlifed. He got acquitted, if I'm not mistaken. But then he gets unlived in 2003. That's 11. He gets unlived. And the story that is told is that this guy, he just was a real one. He was a good guy. But, hey, some sort of confrontation, he gets unlived. You follow me? Then we got 2011. Now, here is the part that gets me. All of these deaths that seem to be, Sister Candy said, allegedly, allegedly, that's right. All of these deaths that seems to be health-related all of a sudden. Those are the ones that really stand out to me. You understand what I'm saying? All of the ones that seems to be health-related all of a sudden is a red flag to me. Heavy D, as we know, I don't, I'm not of the thought that every big person has health problems. I believe that some of us are built different, structurally different. Our physiology is different. However, when you look at someone like Heavy D, big fella, Moving around, dancing around. And he gets unlifed for a blood clot in his leg. Pulmonary embolism that stemmed from a blood clot in his leg. Did have anybody ever studied how the CIA can move and take things, take people out. Anybody ever, I mean, this might, this might be too deep. This might be too deep. This might, I might be just thinking too hard. You know what I mean? Because I think our people don't think hard enough, for one. I think that we think that we could just bypass all of these clues and act as if nothing really went down that would be um, on the line of an assassin. Like, why would they take out, why would they take out Heavy D? Well, Heavy D knew, probably knew more than anybody else outside of Ken Porter. They all started at Uptown Records together. Ken Porter, Heavy D, and Andre Harrell. Then came Father MC and then all the rest of them. You know what I mean? Do y'all know the story about, do y'all know the story about uh, Bob Molly. There's a story that Bob Molly was unlived because of his revolutionary type uh, music that touched people, moved people, and could, and could stir people into the direction of revolution, if you will. So it was said that somebody, a friend of his, knew that he liked Converse All Stars. And what would happen is, is that the government supplied, supplied the informant with a pair of all-stars with a 
little needle in it. And that little needle would dispense cancer, cancerous poison into Bob Molly. And that became the end of Bob Molly. So this thing is not far fetched. We're talking about 44 years old. People talking about that, 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 that 40 is the new 20 and that 50 is the new. Th- We're talking about 44, 44 years old. He collapsed in front of his home. Just collapse. Boom. Now, like I said, I hope I'm not reaching, but I just think after all of the people that is close to a uh, uh, Diddy that these things are happening, I think it's it, it's fair to say, hold up, this thing got to be revisited. This got to be revisited. Was it Ebolism? This thing got to be revisited. Even, even the family of Heavy D should want to revisit this. Just to be safe. Then we look at Craig Mack. We know that Craig Mack did an interview where he, he was going back and forth with Diddy about getting paid. He was doing back and forth with Diddy about getting paid. Getting paid was due his. And Diddy refused to break him off what he was owed. Craig Mack said he went in there with a gun because he felt that they were going to, he said he felt that they was going to try to kill him. In other words, they was going to unlive him. And so he went there with a burner. He went there with a burner. Emmanuel Doc, man, you right in my head. I'm about to show that heart attack gun in a minute. Um, he went there with a burner because he said he didn't trust that he could walk out there. And in 2018, he got heart heart failure. Um, I was going. I was going. Wanted to talk about that that heart attack gun. If anybody not familiar with it. Uh, um, Emmanuel just 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 pulled it out of my head uh, because um, they have if they have this right, and I should I should have it more ready. Um, if they have this, um, let me see real quick. If they have this, then you already know that they have more more conventional weapons. This was twenty thirteen when this was uh, talked about uh, from the CIA, but but it dates back way before that. Now, hold on. Let me, let me, let me bring it up for you real quick. Let me bring it up for you real quick. The heart attack gun. Anybody ever heard of the heart attack gun? Oh yeah, they ain't playing with you. They ain't playing with you. They got something for you. They got something for you. They got something for you. You know what I mean? People think it's a game. Don't think it's a game. Don't think it's a game. You know what I mean? They can, they can, they can bang this thing from, from 100 yards, if I'm not mistaken, and do what they got to do. I'm about to give it to you right now. Let me show it to you real quick. The heart attack gun. I, I should have had this ready. My bad. But here it goes. Now, listen, I'm not saying that he was hit with a heart attack gun. That's not what I'm saying. But we just have to be mindful that these things exist. This is the heart attack gun. Right there. I mean, this is the heart attack gun. Now, what this gun does is a CIA secret weapons used for assassination shoots a small poisonous dart poison dart to the cause to cause a heart attack as explained in congressional testimony in the video there's a video that comes with this go look it up the dart 
from this secret CIA weapon can penetrate clothing and leave nothing but a tiny red dot on the skin. On the penetration of the deadly dart, the, the individual targeted for assassin for assassination may feel as if he's bitten by a mosquito. Or they may not feel anything at all. This is how deep it gets. The poisonous dart completely disintegrate, disintegrates upon entering the target. The lethal poison then rapidly enters the bloodstream, causing a heart attack. Once the damage is done, the poison denatures quickly so that an autopsy is very unlikely to detect the heart attack resulted from anything other than natural causes. Sounds like the perfect James Bond weapon, doesn't it? Yet it is all verifiable in the congressional testimony. The astonishing information about this secret weapon of the CIA comes from the U.S. Senate testimony. Listen to this. In 1975, on rogue activities of the CIA. Then if they got that in 1975, you know good and well in 2024, they have advanced in leaps and bounds. The weapon is, on, is only one of many James Bond's like discoveries of the church committee hearings officially known as the United States Senate Select Committee to study governmental operation with respect of intelligence activities. Family, when you deal in CC, I think what people don't understand, and I said this the other day, that the Pentagon owns entertainment whether you know it or not, the Pentagon owns entertainment. You hear what I say? They own entertainment. In other words, they dictate what hits the airwaves. They dictate what's the next vibe going to be. People thinking that the uh, the European uh, power brokers, Jewish power brokers, is the one that control everything. Well, they do. They operate. They, they function on that matter. But these are be these be government things. And so when you have one that is a gatekeeper, if you will, say, say, let's, let's say allegedly a uh, uh, Diddy is the gatekeeper, right? They are going to protect that gatekeeper at all costs. And they're going to make sure that people don't understand how deep the rabbit hole is. And so anybody that can expose their man, they're expendable. That's just how it goes. They're expendable. You follow what I'm saying? So, with that being said, man, this is this is this is this is this is a different kind of game here. Yeah, this is a different kind of game here. This ain't this ain't this ain't this ain't <laughs> this ain't what you're used to. It says Bronx born rhymer Craig Mack. Another early bad boy standout died at 47 in 2018 in South Carolina from heart failure. After having embraced Christianity and working working with a ministry there. Now, one of the things that we also got to look at, family, is why is it? Is it so bad that, um, is it so bad uh, uh, at bad boy, right, that you have people that when they leave bad boy, they literally, they literally run to the church or they run to something similar. Like, like for instance, check this out. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Craig Mack went to, I must say it was a pseudo church demonstration. I mean, he went to a, like a pseudo church demonstration. You look at, I think this is a loon. Loon turned straight Muslim. Shine. He started wearing uh, 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 um, uh, what you call the, the Hebrew locks. Mace. He ran to the church. What was going on so bad that they were seeking repentance? What type of attraction? You know, listen, whether people are religious or not, 
in the true sense of people running to churches and whatever the case may be, religion and all of those things, in the true sense and the true reason behind a lot of this stuff is because they have done possibly some filthy things and they looking for forgiveness and they're looking for forgiveness because look, it's just, look, it's, this, this is not a coincidence. See, that's the thing, man. We got we got to start to look at truth for what it is. It's definitely not a coincidence. I, 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 don't, I just can't see it being a coincidence when you really examine it. Thank you so much, Sister Candy. Thank you so much, Sister Candy. Appreciate you. You're on, you're on the money, GS. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> Thank you so much. But look, when you, when you, thanks for the super chat. When you, um, when you take a deep look at it, right, and we, that's what we're doing right now. When you take a deep look at it, and you examine for, for it is, for what it is, and you look at this, you look at Loon. He go Muslim, and there's nothing wrong with going to religion, but all in the same. These, these are brothers that was all in somewhat of the same time time frame of entertainment under the same label. What is the odds? What is the odds? They need forgiveness for something. Look at Shine. Look at Shine. Oh, God, so gracious. Many, shh, let me let that go. My, my, the point that I'm making is, is that when people commit some, 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 some crazy, crazy stuff in their life, one thing for sure and two things for certain, they run to God real fast. Now look at, what Craig Mack passed for. He's unlived for, from congestive heart failure. In 2018, we just looked at, we just, sh Billy Gates, shout out from London. He said, keep it real, love to reggae. Look at this. Another Heart failure. Mm, mm, mm. Andre Harrell, 2020. Heart failure. Listen, remember, remember, Diddy ain't want to give nobody that publishing. Especially Craig Mack. Listen, not only did, let me let me go here real quick. Not only, let me go here real quick. Not only did Craig Mack, I mean, I mean, Shine and all of them brothers go to the church, but we even got Craig Mack going to the church. Anybody remember? Craig Mack went to the church in the man. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Let me see if I can find it. Craig Mack went to the church. And in 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 let me see. Craig Mack went to the church and what happened? They took advantage of him at the church too. Let me see if I can find it right quick. Let me see if I can find it. Just, just for the sake of, 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 of you knowing what's happening around here. All right. Yeah, it's cause he went to the church too. I forgot, it just, it just dawned on me that Craig Mack went to the church too. You follow me? That, that just hit me. I just, it just dawned on me 
that Craig Mack went to the church to. And, 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 and so what, I mean, even though he seemed like the one that was uh, more humble uh, when you listen to the story, but. Craig Mack, yeah. you people out there listen to me. Craig Mack, you know, when he first came around, he really didn't want anybody to know where he was. Right, right. Well, I tell you, boy, it is now he, when, what do they call that, Wicked Pig? Wicked Pig. Brother Stare, I saw up on Wikipedia, Craig Mack has joined the Overcome Ministry. Is that true? Well, no, Craig Mack is dead. We have somebody, it used to be Craig Mack, and he didn't join anything. God joined him. And the difference, you see, I believe I'll testify while I got the chance. Now, in case you people don't believe I'm telling the truth, he's of age. Let him speak for himself. What is your name, sir? My name is Craig Mack. And uh, uh, what did you used to do when you was in the world? Wickedness. Wickedness. Right. Okay. And what are you doing now? Righteousness. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, my God. So you see, Craig Mack did join himself. God joined him. And that was right. Righteousness. Lead me in the path of righteousness. So look, this, this same preacher was actually accused of groping little girls. And I'm doing, I'm doing a whole, I'm doing a whole presentation on that preacher alone. You know what I mean? Um, that preacher alone, he was actually accused of groping little girls and in, in, in some 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 pedo uh some pedo 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 stuff. And it's on and and it's and it's on tape. It's I mean you you actually I mean it's not graphic, but it's there. It's there. You know what I mean? And so Craig Mack ran to the church too. He ran to the church too. He actually ran to they said that was a cult type church. You feel what I'm saying? That was the cult type demonstration. You know what I mean? So, 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 what's going on that bad boy that sends you to the cult type demonstration? And now back to Andre Orell. He he dies uh, 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 of a heart attack, of heart failure. These are the people that knows all the secrets. Now, I'm not sure about. Black Rob, but Black Rob is associated with Diddy just like anybody else. Some things can go slow. Some things can go fast. Black Rob and Diddy had show enough beef. They had show enough beef. And the next time we seen Black Rob, my big bro from, from the woe demonstration, Man, it ain't look good for the home team. It ain't look good. And we everybody thought he was on drugs. Everybody thought Black Rob was on drugs. But when in fact, they say he died of cardiac arrest. That's heart caused by a rare kidney disease. See, th these, this stuff got to be reopened. Rob in a score, Rob and scored his biggest hit in 2000. Whoa, died Saturday afternoon at the age of 52 at Atlanta's Grady Memorial Hospital. His death was confirmed by a friend and fellow rapper, Mark Curry, who was with Rob Ross at the time of his death in an interview. And I'm not accusing anybody of anything. I'm just saying nobody, nobody think to read. This is just too many human beings coming up unlived associated with Diddy. It's just too many. Just as a precaution. Just as a precaution, they're supposed to revisit this. In an interview on Sunday, Curry added that Ross was hospitalized on Saturday and the cause of death was cardiac arrest caused by a rare kidney disease. The rapper had a history of kidney failure and diabetes. He had suffered several strokes 
in the past year. I would go back and see when all of this started. If he was on dialysis for the past five years, then we know that his career was pre that. But when everybody's seeing Black Rob on the, the, the YouTube, everybody thought he was on drugs or something. And Diddy did not lend a helping hand. Do you know his GoFundMe only got up to $30,000? Thank you, KB. Do you know that his GoFundMe, at this time, Diddy is a billionaire. His GoFundMe only reached 30000 and it was turned over to his family for the sake of having a respectable funeral. Do you hear what I say? And nobody think... And nobody think that it, it, it's reasonable to look into this. Nobody think that this is that this is reasonable. Listen, if somebody got shot in the 1800s with with a, 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 a with a musket gun and they say, well, no, I don't think it was a musket gun. Them Europeans be pulling up saying, I think it was the Indians. It was the Indians. It was an arrow, not a musket gun. It was an arrow. They be exhuming the body and trying to find out arrow tip or a, a, a musket, a musket ball. And we don't think that this is reasonable. We don't think that this is reasonable. This is just too much. This is just too much. Look at that. Following the death of DMX last week, Ross' friend self posed video from the hospital in a bed, frail-looking Ross, that's Black Rob, mourning uh, the rapper and adding his own condition. I don't know the pain is crazy, da-da-da-da. Anyway, keep it pushing. And then in 22... Kim Porter. Now, here is the twist to this. Here is the twist to this. The weird twist to this is Kim Porter was with I'll Be Sure. From 90 to 91, if I'm not mistaken. 89, 90, something like that, give or take. Give me. She was with I'll Be Sure, right? They have a child together. How does I'll be sure turn over the rights of his child? Surrender the rights of his child to another man who is dating your ex-wife. See, I'll be sure is going to come out looking for some sympathy. But when that story comes out, everybody going to have to examine that story well. Because something is really odd about you surrendering your parental rights to a man that you worked with, with your ex-wife. It, this is just odd. Listen, Diddy, Kim Porter, Andre Harrell, and Heavy D was the core at Uptown Records. I'll be sure in her was together before her and Diddy. Now that's his child. That's 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 his son. That's his son for real. That's his son. I mean, that's definitely his son. I mean, let me pull up a picture real quick. That's definitely his son. He surrendered his right. I mean, no, I think it's something deeper. I think it's something deeper than um I think it's something deeper than the public know about at this time. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's something deeper. You know what I mean? Listen, 
Diddy was walking around with a little European baby that he adopted that nobody talk about. You know what I mean? He was being just like, he was being just like those crazy Europeans that go to Africa and get a little African baby. He went and got a little European baby. You know what I mean? But that's definitely his son. I mean, according to, one second. Yeah, that, that, you know what I mean? But the whole thing in the nutshell is, what man surrendered the rights Hold up, hold up. Let, 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 let me paint the picture one more time. Let me paint the picture one more time. All of them are at Uptown Records. I'll be sure is with Kim Porter. Diddy is working at Uptown Records. The relationship doesn't work between I'll be sure and Kim Porter. Diddy steps in and move on Kim Porter. And then legally adopts Kim Porter and I'll be sure, son. Now you tell me that ain't an odd connection. Hey. So that's a story to be watching too. But then Kim Porter. See, and she was there. She was there from the beginning. She was there from the beginning. So Kim Porter was there from the beginning. And then she get unlived. And it says she suddenly suffered from renal failure in 2022 was intubated and fell into a coma for two months basically they said she had pneumonia but and i'm looking for this i'll be sure says in the time leading up to porter's death she was running from someone or something quote unquote and that was i'll be sure's words Then you have some people reporting that on the morning of November the 15th, 2018, Kimberly Antoinette Porter was discovered unresponsive in her home. Located in the, in the 10,300 10, block of Woodridge Street in Toluca Lake, it was later determined Porter died from lobar pneumonia. Let me move my, my bad. Lobum pneumonia. It was later reported that she died from Lobar. I'm sorry. The bar pneumonia. Now, I might have butchered that word, but don't worry about it. You fix it for me. But then. A source come forth and say, then why was there blood located on Kim's pillowcase? The same source that wrote on this story, which we're going to do this story, if it's interest to the people, um, I will go through the whole story. If they are going to say that was pneumonia and that she died peacefully in her sleep, then why was there blood located on Kim's pillowcase? In July 2020, the same month he was hospitalized, Brown wrote a Porter's death on Instagram. Let me see who this. I don't know clearly. Kimberly just checked. There's a pneumonia. That's some BS. This is where I get in trouble. Right warned that Porter was said to have have died of pneumonia 
and initial coroner report said that it was ruled a homicide and they found toxin in her body to prove that she had been poisoned. Hmm. I'm not sure what that was right there, but whatever the case may be, Kim bought a book still in the works. And this is, these are, these are anonymous things that I'm, that I'm coming up on. I said, good morning. I tried calling you back last night, but the figure you were knocked out by the time I tried to contact you. But I wanted to let you know that Kim Porter book is finally in progress and will be released. Da-da. I met with da-da, this past Sunday evening <coughs> and she showed me the rough draft Kim sent her. So somebody got the rough draft. Somebody got the rough draft because this was anonymous. Me, I found this anonymously on the Internet when looking over the details of Kim and Diddy's relationship that will be exposed in the book. It will be, it would absolutely blow your mind. I was devastated to read the things that Kim put up with and witnessed during this relationship with Diddy. Also, some of the things the book covers Diddy. And I think this talking about his um, his man on man thing. Do anybody know? So, so you got Kim Porter. Do anybody know Chucky Thompson? Anybody know Chucky Thompson? Chucky Thompson, not saying this have anything to do with it. Chucky Thompson is one of the producers for Bad Boy. And during the COVID season, he succumbed to COVID. Now, I'm not saying this have anything to do with anything. But ironically, guess who was his replacement producer? Anybody want to take a guess? Guess who was his, his, his replacement producer? Who want to take a guess? Anybody know? If you don't know, you will in a second. His replacement producer was no other than Stevie J. Now, 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 now listen. Now, listen. Stevie J was his replacement producer when he was alive. You follow what I'm saying? But now listen. You got you gotta know you gotta know his catalog though. Like his catalog is the big papa. I love you when they call me Big Papa. Faith Evans, you used to love me. Murray J. Blodge, second album, My Life. Where I'm going down. He produced Nas, One Mike. He produced Usher, Ice Cube, TLC. As well as Neo. You hear what I'm saying? Now do you now do you you know Diddy don't like to cut that check? He produced most of these under the bad boy brand of the Hitmen. Stevie J is riding with Diddy till this day. Again, this is just a lot of coincidences. If it's ever, if it's, if it's a coincidence, this is a mean coincidence. Now people, and then the thing is, COVID is convenient. But this, but after, after, after about five unlived people, shouldn't all of this be like, hold up, let's go back to the drawing board and let's see what's 
really going on? Wouldn't that make sense? Press seven if that makes sense. This is just too many. Even though we know, even though we know that uh, uh, the, 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 the cold thing was real, for some people that lost their lives and for others they said it wasn't as real, but whatever the case may be, with all of these, with all of these people being unlived, it just makes sense. Somebody said Ice Cube is West Coast. That don't mean nothing. They use producers all around. True, Ice Cube used the bomb squad when he was trying to get back on. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. So this this goes to show, man. This 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 rabbit hole runs deep. This rabbit hole runs deep. 2021. Gone. We got that story there. And then we got the the Keefe D. We can't forget Pac. We can't forget Pac. Keefe D was the first one to publicly say that Diddy had something to do with Pac. We heard people, and, and, and Keefe D say he was there. That's why he locked up now. He say he was in the car. He said, I met him back in 91. He was doing an Usher video, Can You Get With It? They called my hydraulics place and asked to use some low riders. So I let them use my four, use my four, and we and we uh, took the cars up there. He recalled explaining how he met Diddy. Usher danced on the hood in the window, uh, in window door uh, so it was a big old dip in it in SHIT. I took it up, I took it up to the paint shop that they that they like. We got the paint, we got to paint the whole car, so Puffy reimbursed me with that. Despite now, now remember, this is right after the East Coast, West Coast War. Supposedly. Despite Diddy's Honorable act, Keefe D wishes he never crossed path with him as he believes his relationship with the bad boy records mogul ultimately led him to being tied to Tupac's tragic death. So we can't forget about Pac. Now some of the some of the tragedy that's came with it. Look at G Depp. G. Depp, he goes to jail for hustling. No, no. Matter of fact, he goes to jail because he he, he knocked somebody off. So not, that has nothing to do with Diddy. But this is just tragedies being connected to Diddy in some way. Then we got Loon. So he, he he's eligible for parole uh, next year, 2025. He just go and confess for a whole murder. I mean, he goes and confess for a whole murder. Ain't that something? Hold on one second. Let me move this out of the way. He goes and confess for a whole body years later. What what type of what, what's going on in your psyche in your conscious that you committed that you got to throw yourself at the mercy? You got to think about the psychology of this. You have to throw yourself at the mercy of a system that's never been fair. No attorney, no nothing. Just say, listen, I did this back in '93. Take me away. And they give you life plus 15 years. But then take back two years so you can get parole. If they give it to you. 
what 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 what's going on in the mind of a person What's going on in the mind of the person that they just got to throw themselves at the mercy and say, listen, it is what it is. That's somebody who's trying to cleanse their soul from some stuff. Who knows what these people, man, these people come out with a book. I bet you they all got a story. Every book going to go platinum. They should be writing a book right now. Every book is going to sell way more than they records because I'm going to tell you, they didn't did some dark things. One one go to jail, he comes out bona fide humble Muslim. Ain't nothing wrong with being a humble Muslim. If it worked for you, let it work. But hey, it is what it is. Good night, Diddy. Well, anyway, family, there's so much, so much, so much more. There is so much, so much more. There is attorney that was close to Diddy that basically died too soon or unlived too soon. There's other people that unlived too soon close to Diddy. And I'm just saying all of this and ain't nobody saying nothing. Yep, I just seen the backup dancer coming out too. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Well, I, I'm i of the thought that they didn't gather all the evidence. They didn't gather all the evidence and they have gathered all the witnesses. And they just looking for a slam dunk. In other words, just because a person um, is certified guilty without a trial, you still got to go through the legal process to walk through that courtroom. And one thing about the feds, they make sure that when they walk through that courtroom, the legal process of crossing the T's and dotting the I's is done. And if they charge Diddy, he will never get out. It's impossible. If 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 the, I'm saying if they charge Diddy, I don't care how much money he got, how much attorneys he got. If he charge Diddy, if they charge Diddy, I don't care how much money he got. It's a wrap. It's ball game. You feel me? It's ball game. Um, somebody said, what did the backup dancer say? Uh, let me see. Let me pull it up. I was gonna save that for for tomorrow. Let me see. Yeah, man, man, there's so many people. If you're a business owner. Hold up. I, I didn't, um. Good night. Hello. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to give it to y'all. Stand by. Let me tell you what the backup dance back to talk about. Give me a second. Let me show y'all what the backup dance are talking about. Everybody want to know? That would be the last thing I do. So, family, while I'm getting this together, please hit yourself with a thumbs up. Hit me with a thumbs up. You know what I mean? Can you do that for me? Get yourself in the Bible-based church. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Get yourself in the Bible-based church. I think it's right here, though. If it's here, we're going to look at it in a minute. I'm trying to. They say they say he did some horrific things, family. Yeah. They say, they say, they say, man, he did some. He did some very horrific things, man. Yeah, let me see. 
I'm gonna try to do it so I don't, I don't, I don't, um, I can't get this. I, I, can't, I can't get no Diddy strikes. I'm trying to tell you, so y'all gonna have to give me a second so I can set it up properly. I ain't trying to get no Diddy strikes. You know what I mean? I'm trying to cover, I'm trying to see this all the way through because ain't this something, listen, we grew up listening to Diddy. We grew up like, man, Diddy should, Diddy, when, they, when he start dancing and skipping across the ska, stage and, and, and twirling and looking all uh, uh, like he's skating on ice and dancing, man, we thought that was fascinating. We thought that was fascinating. Little did we know that they were they was eyeballing little girls. Thank you so much, uh, Jay Starsky. They was eyeballing underage girls. Jay Z was eyeballing underage girls. It's crazy, and nobody around these people is. Nobody, nobody says that. That's you know the 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 more baffling thing about this whole thing is that all the people that you say or that we considered to be cool, thorough, or whatever adjective we choose to give them, they were standing there watching this stuff. They were standing here watching this stuff. All the people that we thought was cool, that we thought like man. I like them S. Dot Carters. These are the all, all the people that were standing around watching it. I mean, so let me see what this say. Let me set. We all up. have stories. Mine is horrific. Like, let me set this up real quick. Hold up, family. Be cool. Be cool, family. Set this up real quick. Why ain't you saying something? Hold up one second, one second. I want to hear this myself. I want to hear this myself, one second. I gotta get it right. This on the fly too. So I'm gonna teach y'all. Because we just wanna live. Hold up. Can you hear it? I can't hear it. Hold up. All right, let me make sure I get it right because I wanna hear it too. I wanna be happy. Give me one second. Let me put a filter on this demonstration. Put a filter on this demonstration. I mean. We really want to forget the trauma. Diddy's former backup dancer, Tanika Ray, speaking out. In the wake of federal home raids, sex trafficking allegations, and speculation, the embattled music mogul could face criminal charges. Since then, I've been like, yep, I have a lot of stories, y'all. Maybe I'll write a book one day. Law enforcement had enough to get the search warrant. They maybe even have enough to get an indictment, and if so... I expect Diddy to be arrested in it in a matter of days and no more than weeks. So, there's that. Uh, I have never talked about this publicly. Tanika reacting to this interview from Joy Reid's MSNBC series on Instagram. Culture critic Torre claiming Diddy fired a family member after allegedly refusing his sexual advances. Years later, they finally came out, and this is a male, yeah. and said that uh, Puff had said, Come home, stay the night with me, or the internship is over. Oh, yeah. You know, we all have stories. Seriously, we all have stories. Mine is horrific, and only five people know it. And I probably will never tell it. Tanika, who's also worked in entertainment journalism, referencing an alleged experience with Diddy from 1996 in her caption, adding, nothing that is happening is surprising. And mind you, I then interviewed him many times. And I also am very intimately aware that you tell your truth and you become victimized over and over and over and over and over and over. But it just is so traumatizing that women just want to live every day and feel safe. Can nobody hold me down? This comes amid Diddy's looming legal saga. 
So I guess we're going to be digging to that. I guess we're going to be digging them in that. Find out what it is, family. You know what I mean? Um, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, family, no one should have sat around and watched these things happen. You know, like at some point, we got to be responsible for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? If the weaker vessel is not able to defend themselves, somebody is supposed to step up. Just like we was talking about Aaliyah. Uh, Leah uh, uh, was with R. Kelly at 15. And then after that, uh, we see her with Jay-Z. And then after that, we see her with Dame Dash. And people are looking at these people today like they some type of cool people. These people are not cool. These people are predators. They're not cool. We look at a Dame Dash get on all of these platforms, all of these spaces that people give him, talking all obnoxious like he's some great hustler, like he's someone to be admired, like he's someone to look up to, when in fact that he knew that this 15-year-old was taken advantage by R. Kelly. Everybody knew it. He knew that she was with Jay-Z and then him next. And before her untimely death, he was supposedly the last boyfriend. But right before that, she was with Jay-Z. Right before that, in all the pictures, that seemed like it was some type of, oh man, some type of, some type of nasty stuff going on. And these people never said nothing. And now today, they can go on Nick Cannon. They can go on all these platforms. They can go on a uh, 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 Billy Carson. They can do it, all this stuff and talk like they have enough, like they're an authority on something. Like they are an, uh, an authority on something. Like you, you can't be an authority on anything if you can't be authority on protecting children. It's just, it's, it's, it's wild to me. It's wild to me that people would look up to, like, like we need to, like, this is what we need to show our children. This is, that this this one here, that you, that you, yeah. We need to use these people as examples. With that being said, family. Y'all, look at my African-American over here. <laughs> With that being said, family, I'm about to get up out of here. I appreciate you. Um, hopefully ain't getting no strikes trying to show that to y'all. Um, but whatever the case may be, you are worth it. You know what I'm saying? You are worth yeah. it. It's long. So I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow to night. Right. Try for your friend, bro. If anybody Help me out. watches the news, meet me halfway. Come on. I wanna, Don't I be wanna, hesitant to I send me the, the breaking news. Peace and love. Let me be your friend. Peace and love. Me. And you ain't never, ever, ever gonna meet one again Now let me be your friend Peace and love Let me be your friend Peace and love I said you ain't never met a more like me And you ain't never, ever, ever gonna meet one again I wanna be Don't your friend Don't be hesitant love. to me send me friend. the breaking news At MWTV Updates At gmail.com one day we gon' meet, meet em. I'm, I'm all about justice, that's the focus of the message sometimes. Asiatics make me wanna forget the lessons. I be all up in my passion from all the Moors fashion. All things considered, I start laughing. A grown man with a ponytail. Another calling us Neanderthal. And he all pale at me for real. This is what it come to, my brother. We got nothing better to do than talk down to each other. Yeah, we can be scholarly, or we can get gutter. We all the children of a father and the rest of our mother has nursed us all. And first of all, we beef and wanna be trying to murk us all. You need to chill, my brother. Tell the elders the same. Cause on the real, my man, I'm really about them things. I can take the feds off and get back in the low. And return to the state where they used to call me dope, but no. Rolling with the prophet of the law. One round, hey. not four. Standing on that four, and I'm holding the square. The compass and the axe that might be too deep. Yo, let's not get off track. See, our prophet was an adept. Do you know what that is? An Egyptian adept. It's a brother who lived by the universal science developing the now. We call it Islamism, but it's the Thank same. you for your support, Child family. Of a master. I train you up, but I might have to bang you up. I still love you. And those that's talking that this ain't Islam. Everything the prophet bought is in the Quran. All the other stuff prostrate and cover up is just the start. 
Yes, indeed. The laws to heart. You can dress like Emperor Tap, or you can dress like a herb. By the most American model, you defy the word. You can say what you want about Dr. York, but he gave you different variations of the same thought. You don't appreciate that. You won't appreciate me. Appreciate the holy and divine true by least. People refuse to admit it. He the first that ever did it. Europeans hope that the Moors would forget it, but we here, strong, alive, and well. Resurrected from hell with a story to tell. So pay attention. And consider the facts You know it's humanly impossible for you to be black I guess a Chinaman is yellow A Mexican is brown Just think for a second How ridiculous it sound We can turn it around But we must unite It's okay to disagree But we don't have to fight Cause if we have to fight You know how we get I'm still learning to love No, I'm not there yet So work with me fam And I'ma work with you And let's all work together And do what we gotta do Cause on the real side We haven't made no progress since 1929 when the prophet left the flesh we got an asiatic president men murray men psycho shooting up a club and don't see his own sin and those that say they conscious them took your bucks 